Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is a special edition of the Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Arizona Cardinals. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the desert southwest, Glendale, Arizona, and State Farm Stadium. Ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Arizona Cardinals. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. The first carry now. This is Johnson. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Operating from the gun, Whitfield. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. As so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with the tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And a peek now at the offense for Tampa Bay. And this is a unit that has to feel good about itself. Got the win last week in the wild card round. And oftentimes we say you want to get the open week and get some rest. But many times we see the upsets happen with a team that won the week before and has momentum on its side. Did a lot of attention when he was about to enter the NFL for his ability to play the football in the air. He's actually shown that he can tackle pretty well in the league, too. He's got Evans. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 40-plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big-time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Back to throw. Whitfield. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Already in this first quarter that he's been able to knock the ball away. They're going to need that from him and plenty more if they want to slow down this passing game. Thus far, though, he's been a ball magnet. And this one is right down the middle. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run with Snell to begin the drive. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. On first down, it's Snell again. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Murray going to try to throw on third down. And able to find Kirk complete. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Christian Kirk, 39 yards. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They trail here early in this division round game as they seek a spot in the NFC title bound. On second down, Eckler. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. On third down, Whitfield. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice the hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. First quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Brian used to tell his running backs before games make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Draw play, and it's Snell. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Now well, throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good, and this score will stay right where it is. I wonder if that missed field goal could haunt him later. Yeah, we're always looking for the key plays, right? The ones that we're going to magnify. Usually those happen in the second half or later in the game. This might be the key play of the game showing up here in the first half. Pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Throwing again. Whitfield, he'll get this to Eckler. Now a flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. Holding and this offense. looks like it's going to be holding. So they're comfortable with the yardage. The big thing to them is what you pointed out, getting it to third down and making a play there. To throw on third down, Whitfield. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer? Out of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Snell. And he is swallowed up. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Now Snell. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mike Daniels. And there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. 
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. The one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we'd get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone would come through. Touchdown, Cardinals! In for the score! And the Cardinals push further out in front. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, and when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Mike Evans and the rest of the offensive unit heading back out there now. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far, just a single catch in this game. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, and they stick with Eckler. Off the play thing, Whitfield. And this one incomplete. The Bucks on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This time it's third and three. Looking to throw. Whitfield. He hits white. Complete. Red man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as his guys are back within a single score. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Second and six, just inside the 30. They try to throw on second down. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. And they're going to have this across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Back to throw, Whitfield. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Oh, it's first down. Here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Made his first. This now from 42 yards out. And the 13-year man puts it through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. 
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this Divisional Round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back to Saturday's NFC Divisional Round game. And it was the Green Bay Packers who will continue on in these playoffs as they were able to eliminate the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, let's send it back out to Brandon God. Number three, a trip to the NFC title game, hanging in the ballot, second half action back underway. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. From the 44, Murray. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. Throwing on first down is Murray. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. Here the Cardinals push further out in front. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of this? Most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. You're scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Back to the air on second down. Whitfield on the screen. This is Eckler. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Running on first down, Eckler. Once more, here's Eckler. And that play goes nowhere. He's met behind the line, and a penalty flag may add insult to injury. So they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards against us. No way we need to take that. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would. They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments. And, the and that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Let's go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. On second down now, Bond, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. 
A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. the interception he'll look to throw that's caught by Howard 14 yards there and a bucket here first down out of the gun Eckler running it and he's going to get a solid gain of nine it's Eckler again and he'll get it out to midfield now Eckler will be taken down at the 48. Here's second and eight. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Here's Foreman. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think he might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Big O.J. Howard, his intended target. And it's third down. On third down, Whitfield. And a throw there going to be incomplete. What an effort to get his hand on that one. Knock it away. and brings up a fourth down decision. And Hauschka's kick is good. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Justin Evans. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. Looking for the big chunk now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun, Whitfield. And now another one thrown incomplete. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They're going to run again with Snell. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. The Cardinals on third down, just one for five to this point. Here it's third and three. From the gun on third down, Murray looks to throw, fires right side. Onto the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. It's on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. The powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, to nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Yannick Ngakwe. So first and ten now from the 30. Starting the drive with Snell. Gets around him. And room to run as he's up past the 35. Here's Snell yet again. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game. 
The Cardinals on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This will be third and six. Throwing is Murray on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. Throwing on first down, Whitfield. To throw again, Whitfield. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. Operating from the gun, Whitfield. This is Johnson. He's got it. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. May only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't even save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Second down and inches. And he finds Howard complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And that makes this second and nine. Draw play, it's Eckler. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Looking to throw, Whitfield. That third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them. From the gun, Whitfield. Open man is Howard, the tight end. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Second and 11. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Not yeah, having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, let them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. On fourth down, Whitfield. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. Back to throw, Whitfield. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it. And what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. That is caught at the seven-yard line. To throw on third down, Whitfield. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. On fourth down, Whitfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Buda Baker with a pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll go with Snell here on first down. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run with Snell. And I think this defense knew what was coming. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here. Second and 11. On second down, it's Snell. Here's Snell on third down. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So they stay alive in the NFL playoffs, move on to the conference championship. And do you think that the printing press is starting to get those T-shirts and hats ready, my friend? They have to, Brandon. They have to be ready because if you win, you've got to hand those out on the field right away. And just think about the pressure for the players now. Families are going to be talking about tickets to the Super Bowl even before you play the conference championship game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.